Tired of breaking your back from getting on and off your zero turn mower? Well, a stand on mower might be a great option for you, but a stand on mower isn't just easier to get on and off of, they're also more compact than a traditional sit down mower, making them easier to maneuver and stow away. In today's video, we are going to take an in depth look at the Bad Boy Revolt, one of the best stand on zero turn mowers on the market, in our opinion. If you aren't already, be sure to subscribe and check out the other videos on Tractor Bob's YouTube channel. The Bad Boy Revolt is a stand-on zero-turn mower manufactured in Batesville, Arkansas. Like most other stand-on mowers, it's commercial grade and designed with landscapers and commercial users in mind. The 2022 Revolt comes in either a Kawasaki or Vanguard engine and four deck sizes, a 36-inch, 48-inch, 54-inch, and 61-inch cut. We really like the 36-inch version of the Revolt because of its extra compact form factor, the 36 inch version should be able to get into any backyard situation or areas that otherwise would not be mowable with a larger zero turn mower. Lawn crews love the 36 inch revolt because of its ability to get anywhere and get the job done quickly. The rider platform on the Revolt is hinged at the front and rests on a rubber damper for suspension. The chassis of the Revolt is fabricated from a 2 inch by 3 inch square tube and 1 fourth inch steel plate, with the engine locked in a low and centered position, giving the machine a low balanced center of gravity. The 9.5 gallon fuel tank is also located as low as possible between the engine and flip up access panel. The front forks of the Revolt are are offset asymmetrically so that you can hug tighter against obstacles on the left side when mowing. To the rear of the mower, you have plate steel fenders around the tires to keep mud and clippings from covering the operator. The hand controls include a palm rest behind the control levers and a speed adjustment bar in the front of the levers. The speed adjustment bar provides a forward stop so that you can limit the max speed of the mower with a quick and easy adjustment. The revolt is crazy fast with a top speed of 9 miles per hour. Like all bad boy mowers, the deck on the Revolt is about as tough as they come. It is a fabricated 7 gauge steel deck with reinforced edges and double plate thickness around the spindles. Also the chute is a heavy duty fiber reinforced chute. It's bolted on and when you flip it up, it stays. The deck height adjustment is a lever and pin system with max height lockout. With a quick pull of the deck lever, the deck will drop to your selected pin location, of which you have 13 cut heights from 2 to 5 inches. Raising the lever again will drop the lockout latch into position, keeping the deck at max height for transportation. The Revolt comes with steel spindle covers and maintenance free sealed bearings. The deck sizes 48 inch, 54 inch, and 60 inch come with four super thick anti scalping wheels and a bumper guard on the left hand side. There are four different engines that come on the Revolt, depending on the deck size you choose. The 36 inch version comes in one engine option, the Kawasaki FX 691, which is 22 horsepower, more than enough for a 36 inch cutting deck. The 48 inch option also comes in one engine option, the Kawasaki FX 730, a larger 23.5 horsepower engine. The 54 and 60 inch cuts come with two different engine options options, the Kawasaki FX850, a 27 horsepower engine, and the Briggs Vanguard EFI, a 28 horsepower electronic fuel injected engine. A break in oil change is recommended at 8 to 10 hours and then every 50 hours after that. Each of the engine options come with a commercial grade dual canister style filter with dust separator that allows for much longer service life of the filter element. The 36 inch Revolt comes with the Hydrogear ZT3100 transaxles, which are a commercial grade transaxle with 10cc pump and 16cc wheel motors. The 48 inch, 54 inch, and 60 inch cut all come with the Hydrogear ZT3400 transaxles, which have a larger 12cc hydraulic pump and 16cc wheel motor. Both of the transaxles come with external reservoirs, which are located behind 
behind the quick access panel to the rear of the fuel tank. A break-in service at 50 hours is recommended and then every 200 hours after that. The front tires on the Revolt are the same between all deck sizes, measuring 6.5 inches wide with a 13 inch diameter. However, as you go up in deck size, the rear wheels are sized to match. The 36 inch has the narrowest tires, measuring 7 inches wide with a 21 inch diameter. The 61 inch deck comes with larger rear tires at 11 inches wide with a 23 inch diameter. Bad Boy includes a two-year bumper-to-bumper warranty on all of their mowers, and the engine manufacturers provide a three-year warranty on each of the engine options, since they are all commercial-grade engines. Now for the important information, the price. The Revolt comes in a tad cheaper than some of the competing stand-on mowers on the market, starting for around $7,000 for the 36-inch and going up to $7,850 for the larger fuel injection options. Call your local Bad Boy dealer for the exact pricing and availability. The Bad Boy Revolt is the most heavy-built commercial stand-on zero-turn mower that we have looked at, and we really like that Bad Boy has continued to innovate, addressing any areas that could be improved. Tractor Bobs has carried the Revolt for three years now, and each year we see the Revolt gain more and more popularity, especially with professional lawn crews and landscapers. Thank you so much for watching this video on the Revolt Zero Turn Mower by Bad Boy. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up, that really helps us out a lot. Hit that subscribe button to see more content like this, and tap that bell icon to stay notified. Have a great day.